And right now it's time for that time when we have our special guest. Tonight our special guest is Ray Nielsen. Ray is a spokesperson for the Ethereum Society, a society devoted to spreading the spiritual message of the Cosmic Masters. We welcome Ray Nielsen, our special guest on The Beat Goes On. Ray Nielsen, what a pleasure to have you on The Beat Goes On. Well, thank you very much yes. indeed, Gerard. It's a pleasure to be here. The reason you're here today is I was looking on the internet, which so many of us do, and I see there's a seminar or a discovery evening at the Ethereum Society in Birkenhead. Are UFOs alive and well? Tell me, what is the Ethereum Society? Well, it was uh, an organisation that was started in England, in London, in 1955 by a very, very wonderful spiritual master. His name is Dr. George King. And uh, prior to 1955, he was very, very interested in all matters appertaining to uh, spirituality. Uh, by 1954, after studying yoga for 10 years, eight or nine hours per day, he became a very, very enlightened master of yoga. And in early of May 1954, he was contacted telepathically by an intelligence that identified itself as Aetherius. And uh, he knew beyond any shadow of a doubt that this was a genuine contact. He didn't understand why he'd been contacted, you understand, but he knew the, that the contact was genuine. And after a few days, he received further information uh, stating that he had been selected or commanded to be a yogi medium or voice for interplanetary intelligences who wish to communicate certain information to mankind and as a result of that, the Ethereum Society was started at the request or instruction of these intelligences in conjunction with the ascended masters of this earth known as the Great White Brotherhood. So virtually the Ethereum Society is a spiritual organization that was set up in order that certain information vital to mankind would be given and dissipated through an organization that was set up specifically for that purpose. And that is virtually what the Ethereum Society is and has been doing for, well, since 1955. The concept of receiving messages, it's age old, isn't it? Uh, Absolutely, Right yes. since the beginning of time, whether it be Jesus, Buddha, there's messages coming in all the time, but it's the person who's able to receive them. Dr. George King obviously put himself in a position where he could actually open up, be open enough to receive these messages. They're all around us like radio signals, aren't they? Or television signals? Well, this is very, very true, Gerard, and I'm glad you raised this point. You see, telepathy is a known science. It, it, it's the natural language between consciousness and consciousness is telepathy. Mm. On this Which we've forgotten, though, yes, yes. On this particular planet, um, uh, in our stage of evolution, we, we've forgotten how to do it. And therefore, it's something when it comes up, uh, there's arguments and discussions. But to a master of yoga who understands the levels of consciousness, uh, it was the most logical and natural thing. If intelligence was needed to be given to mankind, it had to be given in a pure fashion, without any distortion, interruption or change. So he trained himself to go into a very, very deep state of yogic trance. In the East, it's known as Samadhi, a very, very deep state of meditation. And it was whilst he was in that trance state that the intelligences communicated via telepathy. And the communication he described was in the, in the form of thought pictures that were sent to his consciousness or a certain part of his brain. And the pictures were then translated into sound, speech, and being born and, and raised as an Englishman, the result was a transmission of intelligence in English. And these were recorded. Um, the Ethereum Society went to great lengths to invest in very, very high quality recording equipment. And we are now the custodians 
of something like 600 recordings of information that has given uh, that has come through George King since 1955. The, just before anybody poo poos this idea, everyone experiences it. You go to the phone and you can say, I knew that would be you. Yes. So it, it is working for all of us, but at a, a much lower level. Now, it's not a two way, two way um, arrangement, by the no. way, when he was uh, alive. Um, he was pre warned as to the time and the date. And uh, his responsibility was to be in trance uh, in the latter years of his, his life. Uh, a special transmission room was built soundproofed with high fidelity re recording equipment, beautiful microphones, so that he was there to be able to receive this information. And some of this information, or a lot of it, uh, was published and sent around to world leaders, world governments, scientists, because in the 50s especially, as you know, uh, this planet was going through a, a very, very serious Cold War situation with nuclear experimentation and at one time I believe and it's when I went to America I had this confirmed at one time the scientists of this earth were very 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 concerned that they'd gone too far with nuclear experimentation um, so that was one subject that the cosmic masters were very very firm on and uh, if I may refer to a, a book mm -hmm. which uh, is called The Contacts with the Gods in Space. Um, this particular book, uh, which was uh, um, written by um, Dr. George King, is a sort of a precy of the main communications and the subjects that were dealt with during his lifetime. And uh, there's a lot of information about the, uh, uh, the dangers of nuclear experimentation, which which uh, scientists were informed about. The atmosphere, the toxic atmosphere to the, him receiving these messages, uh, completely different today, isn't it? People are far more open-minded. There's been a tremendous change and oh, we absolutely. are now open. So he really absolutely. was born in a time when to, to, to try and get these messages out, they would have uh, accused him of um, all sorts of... Uh, well, they did, yeah. they did. I, I mean, he, he went through um, a, a, a absolute um, a torment in the reaction from the press. Uh, they described him as a, as a uh, well, you can imagine what they said about yeah. him. But you see, he, because of his training as a yoga master, this is one of the reasons why the space intelligences chose him. He knew beyond any shadow of any doubt that what he was dealing with was real. And he was prepared, if necessary, to lay down his life. I mean, he received threats in the late 50s, early 60s. He received threats from, from people uh, because he publicly announced and, and did this in public, by the way, in, in uh, halls 